Hi, my name is Fitri. I'm a lecturer at Resort and Leisure Management Program at Indonesia University of Education. It is an honor for me to share the result of my research that I hope this will give a beneficial contribution to the knowledge of tourism accessibility. Accessibility is critical in tourism planning for protected islands, especially when balancing tourism and conservation interests. Traditionally, transportation accessibility research has focused primarily on the supply side with physical evaluation based on distance, time, and cost. In tourism accessibility, is widely discussed in terms of providing equal opportunities for all individuals and is widely known as accessible tourism. Accordingly, accessibility must be understood from the physical and non-physical factors associated with an individual's physical, social, and cultural context. However, transportation and personal factors are insufficient for determining tourism accessibility issues on protected islands because mass tourism in protected areas has become a problem in many countries. With the fastness of the tourist market and the increasing variety of tourist motivations and attitudes, managing tourism accessibility in protected areas is becoming increasingly challenging. The novelty of this article lies in the finding that the tourism accessibility of protected islands can be divided into three types. First, destination accessibility, second, individual accessibility, and the third, protected island accessibility. This article also demonstrated the significant influence of accessibility on tourist decision to visit. Accordingly, the protected island accessibility dimension can create a perception of difficult accessibility and lower tourist decision to visit. We conclude that all elements influencing the perception of tourism accessibility on a protected island must be considered to sustainably manage convenience and restriction to avoid mass tourism. Therefore, it is recommended that these three dimensions be considered in visitor management program. That's all my presentation. I hope this will give beneficial contribution to the developing and planning tourism in protected island as well. Thank you so much.